What's up, peeps, man? It's your boy Spaces, man. And today, as you see, we are not at a computer today. We at the analog area. This is where I just create, man. I don't, I don't have any boundaries over here, and it forces me to be creative over here because I don't have my computer set up over here. It's just, you know, I work with the sounds that I have. I'm limited to sounds here, so I have to definitely be creative, and I love this. It's practice for me, but I end up making some dope or making something. I don't know if it's going to be dope, but I do make something over here. So we're going to keep it uh, pushing here, man. I'm just going to show what I have here. This is my Uno Synth Pro. Um, I purchased this, man. So this is my very first synthesizer that I've ever purchased. I am definitely looking to upgrade, uh, you know, once the finances are right. But if I do, definitely you're going to know because I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to do some kind of review on it. I have my MK2. Shout out to Native Instrument for sending this over a while back. Um, so I've been having this for a while, but I have it over here with my machine plus. You know what I mean? This is the computer. This is the hub. This is what everything is running to. Um, so the way I have this set up is just to kind of break down the setup. I have my machine plus holding everything together. It's the sound source. It's where everything is going to. I have my MK2 triggering it. And then I have my synth as a input into the machine plus. But I also have the MK2 uh, uh, running MIDI into the Uno Synth Pro. I personally, uh, and it may be just because I don't know how to really use it, but I don't like the flat keys. I thought I was going to like it, but I really don't like the flat keys. So in order to work around that, I had the MIDI set up to run from here into that. So as you can see, now, if you look at this thing uh, that's lighting up on the uh, Uno, that is me triggering it from here. And so, actually, no, it, it's it's not. It's triggered from the M. It's it's triggered from the Machine Plus, but it's all triggered coming from here. So if I hit the Machine Plus, it'll do the same thing. But I have this triggering that. So it's it's a it's a weird setup. So maybe this will work here. As you can see here. If I go into settings, I have my MIDI, no, I'm sorry, in the uh, channel, the MIDI, I have it running here as an output, which is the Machine Plus. This is the actual output itself, and it's going into the Uno. In the Uno, I have it running into a certain channel. As you can see here, I have it running through channel two, and that's running in. Now, on the input side of things, I have this the audio coming in from the first and left and right. That's how I have it plugged up back here. And then I have the gain going. I need to turn the gain down some uh, just for whatever. And then I have in the settings, as you can see here, I have the control, the MK2 controlling that here. So it's a smooth little setup, man. It's just, uh, you know, my way of getting things that I need to get done. It works. All right, so supply that. So let's write that.
soul. What we have to do is turn this, turn the threshold down. I, I always like to do, I always like to do the tick. Sort of start when I play. Let's just do that. Let's start with that one. Let's go with that. Uh... Matter of fact, let's slice it up a little bit here. But let's make an idea. So, uh, sample slice.
sound right. Now this is actually coming out of the sin. There's so many. I wish you can actually see what's going on here because it's pretty cool how to have this set up. Change the oscillator just a little bit. And that's the thing I like about the synthesizer, you can kind of create your sound. cut it here just wanted to kind of play around a little bit show my little setup and show off my little way that I create over here um, I just wasn't really feeling anything that I did tonight and you have those nights man but I just wanted to get in here this is my practice this is my being able to come in and just create with as less as I possibly have and then you have to go in here and just really search for what you're looking for. So it's just practice. It's just my practice. If I made something, that's cool. If I didn't, that's cool. It's okay to practice. And if you don't come up with anything, it's all right. I kind of like the foundation of it, but, you know, it's got some work to be done to it. And uh, we'll go from there. So 
All right, man. Until next time, man. This is uh, how we're going to do this. We're going to come and do these a couple times when I'm practicing. And that's just what it's going to be. We're going to do it just from there. Until next time, man.